as we talked about last time in December of 2016 Christmas Day actually December 26 Sony Music Global tweeted out Britney Spears is dead by accident we'll let you know more soon rest in peace Britney Spears so they just fucking doubled down seems like an accident right what happens after 2016 the podcast starts weird timing in and out it's kind of weird that those girls should stop talking about Britney Spears right after it ended right August 2016 Sam starts the beginning of a very painful process of evidently changing his um, meth head teeth to really whites that you see just in time it's like this out of work actor who's not even in any movies and any modeling gigs suddenly just came into money I wonder why he came into money just in time to be cast right in time for the fifth harmony video who Larry Rudolph also manages by the way and then right in time for Britney Spears' slumber party video. Would you look at that? It's almost like somebody gave him an advance. And here he is finishing up his teeth, August 31st. And he did a lot real fast. That's like a lot of money. Look how much teeth he had. Almost like somebody was promised an acting gig if they were going to be a babysitter. Then, you know, as everyone knows, Sam and Britney start dating after 2016. You no, know, another interesting fact. Did you guys know that Sam is related to um, some sheriffs? So looking at some case filings, this one seems kind of like boring, just, you know, boring receipt. Re I was wondering, why would they want to seal it? So they make some arguments, you know, the usual arguments like, oh, we got to seal this shit because, you know, it's like, you know, her privacy and all that stuff, right? Fair enough. So here's the interesting part in the pink. They said that they wanted to preserve her, you know, confidence and, you know, her medical insecurity, right? Then look at this. As Dixon Court recently noted, Involuntary civil commitment proceedings typically are closed proceedings. What's an involuntary civil commitment proceeding? Let's look it up. By the way, this was November 4th, 2016. Way before they allegedly did institutionalize her in 2019. Involuntary civil commitment proceedings. It is the legal process in which individuals are admitted into a treatment center. Huh. Last thing they said up here, if you look up involuntary commitment again, you're going to see that it is being confined to a mental facility without your consent. It's also going to be, and then specifically, California, an authorized person, peace officer, mental health professional must establish probable cause. And if you have a peace officer in California, you can commit someone, involuntary commit them. What's a peace officer, I wonder? Because we know what a mental health professional is. And Britney Spears definitely has that. A law enforcement officer. Wow. And lo and behold, his uncle, actually, who divorced from Maddie Ascari. So, interesting note. Sam's sister was married to the Ventura County Sheriff Department deputy, a boss, Paymart, until 2020. He even attended the wedding. You know what's crazy? They all live in Britney's neighborhood. He is at the wedding. Crazy. Captain, a bass Paymart. That's a pretty high up position. And then Sam just got those pearly whites. I wonder if there's a connection. Oh, and not just that. They're also friends with um, peace officer sheriffs. It's worth noting that Sam Ascari is childhood friends with the newest Ventura County Sheriff, Jim Fryoff. He was just a police officer, and he has a specific experience with 5150s. Thanks, Advocate for Brittany. He's now the sheriff. Curious timing, isn't it? I don't know, you let me fucking know, because I think it fucking is. That it should be sealed. Then it goes on to say that the court in Dixon said there's no right to juvenile dependency proceedings. That's weird. I thought they were talking about being involuntarily committed. But now they're talking about juvenile. So, is the present case, Britney Spears' case, dealing with involuntary commitment or juvenile delinquency? I don't think Britney Spears is under 18. Denial of public access to redacted portions of the fee po position pleading, which is basically like a reimbursement receipt, is supported by the fact that such access would impede the willingness of the co-conservators, the attorneys, and the medical professionals to provide their service. Why would disclosing the truth, and if there's some sort of involuntary commitment, dissuade people from wanting to do their job? It's almost as if they did something bad. Weird.